Row like this if you want to grow bigger and stronger back muscles and improve your shoulder health. There are two steps that you need to master in order to take your back growth to the next level. The number one is setup, the second one is execution. Let's get into it. The same principles apply to every single back exercise that you can think of, but I'm gonna show it to you on a dumbbell row. So for this exercise, you're gonna need something to support yourself on. I've got this bench here, and ideally it would be about knee height. If it's any higher or lower than your knee height, you're not going to be able to get into the right positions. Let's cover the setup first, and don't rush this part, because if your setup isn't right, your execution is going to be shit regardless of what you do. So this is really, really important. This shoulder on top of this hand and this shoulder next to this shoulder. If you can get those things happening, you're going to be doing really great. Then I want you to pay attention to your sternum. Is your sternum facing straight ahead and in a nice and proud position or is your sternum facing down towards your belly button? We don't want to be in this position. So. You want your spine as long as possible and you want to keep your sternum nice and tall. And this supporting side is in a very important row. So let me show you something on this other side. I want you to pay attention to my shoulder blade. So right now you can see how my shoulder blade is sticking th through my shirt. I want you to reach away from the bench so that your shoulder blade, it like hugs along your rib cage and it disappears. So your sternum is tall and you're reaching away with this side. And you're not just kind of like lying or leaning onto the hand, but instead I want you to be gripping the bench. So your fingertip should be going white here. So you're like literally like kind of pushing into the bench and that is what's keeping you in this position. So you're not flopping around here, but you're nice and active about pushing yourself away from the bench. That's gonna set you up for a very good row. Now that we've got the nice and strong setup, we're ready to move into the execution. This shoulder on top of this hand, this shoulder next to this shoulder, gripping the bench, tall sternum, reaching away from the bench. From there, the execution part is that you're going to sweep towards your hip. A massive mistake is that you pull towards your shoulder. If you're pulling towards your shoulder, you can see how my shoulder doesn't actually move much at all. And instead, it's just my elbow that's moving. If you want to challenge your back muscles, we need the shoulder to be the moving agent because your back muscles attach to your shoulder, not to your elbow. So if you're just moving the elbow, you're literally just doing bicep curls. If you want to grow your back muscles, you need to move the shoulder. Instead of thinking about rowing towards the shoulder, you want to row towards the hip. And it can be very useful to think of it as like a bit of a, like a sweep back and then it comes back like that. So you can see how the movement pattern is not up and down, but rather it's like an arc like that. And the final piece to really optimize this for you is that once you've rowed towards your hip, now I want you to finish the movement by pulling your shoulder behind your body as much as you can. So even if you do this without any weight, you should feel how your back muscles go really crazy when you pull that shoulder behind your body. So then you just do the same thing with the weight. So now you know how to execute your back exercises perfectly. Now, whether you're gonna build muscle or not will come down to are you following a proper program and are you applying progressive overload? If you need a program like that, go to coachputter.com app and get a free week on the Coach Putter training app. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.